Hi everyone, this is Trevor Jones from astrobackyard.com and this week we are in Texas here at one of the best star parties in the world, the Texas Star Party. This is me and that's Ash. We're visiting one of the biggest telescopes on Earth at 6,000 feet in the air. I don't know it yet, but on this trip I'll use my own telescope to photograph a newly discovered supernova inside of a galaxy. Before I tell you how this happened, we need to go back to where this story begins. happen I usually faint if I get more than 10 feet away from my phone. Do you realize that if your head wasn't screwed on it would not be there right now? We arrived on the field at the Texas Star Party on Tuesday. The rain had stopped and there was a lot to unpack. So this party is held under the dark skies of Fort Davis and it's right nearby the McDonald Observatory. And I think I can actually see it in the distance over there. Because we're under Bortle 2 skies, I've seen a lot of big light buckets set up here. Telescopes that specialize in jaw dropping visual views of deep sky objects through an eyepiece. guests of Skywatcher on this trip and we've been helping to demo some of their latest equipment on the field. I set up an Esprit 150 on a CQ350 mount and Ash was using an EQ6 with an Esprit 120 on top. Well, I brought him, brother. Man, binoculars don't get enough love. People don't realize what you can see with binoculars. What you need to do is take one of those and lay in the gravity chair. This is where the story gets interesting. On night four, the weather threatened to spoil our view of the night sky, but we ventured out onto the field anyway. Because our view of the sky was blocked to the south from clouds, we focused our attention on the northern sky. I can shoot this area of the sky from home, so I was less than thrilled at the idea of pointing towards a familiar target, but at least we could capture something. The Pinwheel Galaxy M101 is one of the prettiest deep sky objects in the sky to the north, so I began collecting light on that. And this is where the story gets nuts. As I was photographing this galaxy, we caught wind of a recently discovered supernova. A supernova happens when a massive star reaches the end of its life cycle. This explosion creates a brilliant burst of light and this particular supernova is the closest one to Earth in over a decade. Word spread quickly across the field about this event and my jaw hit the floor when I found out that it was in the galaxy my telescope was currently pointed at. Not wanting to disrupt my imaging sequence, I took a single screenshot from my phone of an individual exposure. And sure enough, there it was, SN 2023 IXF 
staring back at me. In all my years of astrophotography, I've never experienced anything like this. I've heard about supernovas, but I've never been right there as it's happening. On, it must online. Be so nice to go to star parties and play with telescopes all the time. I realized something on this trip, and I hope it's something that has come across on this channel from the beginning. Astronomy cannot be fully enjoyed alone. It's the sharing of these experiences that matter most. This might sound strange coming from a backyard astrophotographer that spends the majority of his time conversing with a black lab, but I get to share these incredible moments with you and that's my motivation to keep going. To everyone that was able to capture Supernova 2023 IXF, I hope you were able to share it with at least one person who understands how special this is. You know, there's a, there's a magic that happens out here. It's, it's kind of almost hard to explain. We do this stuff because, you know, we love astronomy, we love dark skies and all that, but it really is the this, the, the personal, connection with other people who are better than you at what you do and that's how you learn when you surround yourself with people that are better than you you grow and so coming to star parties like TSP and El Dorado and Okie Tex over the years I've learned so much more than I could anywhere else and and better than that I've made friends and some of those friends are family and um, it's like Disneyland for nerds I guess I don't know how to describe it but uh, I, I'm, I'm in love and I have been since 2014. So. So this is where we're staying. It's called the Harvard Hotel. It's on the main drag here in Fort Davis. A little busy, busier than I expected in terms of traffic, but uh, this is where all the shops and restaurants are. So even though we're not staying on the field with the scopes, which is an experience in itself, it's nice to come back and to sleep in a warm bed, or in this case, have some air conditioning and hang out here on the balcony. So. I'm a big fan of these accommodations for the Texas Star Party, so yeah, I like it. Hey. You good boy? Oh. 